Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and I'm gonna take you through my AMD trade today where I was up about $600. So one thing I wanna get into, we talked about a lot yesterday in terms of psychology. And today I wanna to share with you my one hack, my one mental hack that really made a difference in my trading today that we talked about yesterday. So yesterday's video is a great place to start then you could come back to this one if you didn't watch yesterday's video. But what I want to get into is the psychology of in the moment, in the trade, what you're thinking about, how things are playing out. And I'm going to show you this trade. I've got it live right here. I'm going to click play. We're going to watch it and we're going to see what happens. This is a short position on AMD. This is trade number 110 for those of you that are following the series from 100 all the way into infinity. And I want to talk about the trade hack that we discussed yesterday where I said we either take the full loser or we take the full winner. There's no in between. Today that made a huge difference for me. Today I was up, down, up, down, more or less, more or less, kind of that give and take that I talked about that bothered me so much yesterday. And today it was really, really it was a huge relief because I didn't even have to think about it. I just knew I'm in the trade. I know that my next mechanic is to move my stop loss. Once I get to 2.5R, I move my stop loss to 2R. That's the only instruction I need. That's the only thing I had to do because the platform takes care of the other scenario, which is runs against me, stops me out, trades over. I don't do anything but watch. So I'm gonna play this for you. I'm gonna show you exactly what happened as we jump into this trade. You can see it's a short position. I am watching this candle right here, that last 15 minute candle. And I do wanna stop one more time and I do wanna say that these videos, I wanna make sure everyone's real clear. They aren't intended to have a bunch of people try to emulate my trading strategy. Because as we all know, or as we should know, every trading strategy in the hands of different people is a different trading strategy. Nobody trades the same thing the same way. So if you just take what I'm doing and you dive into the markets, it's likely not gonna go well because you haven't taken 100 trades, 150 trades. You haven't put that time into knowing what your true win percentage is. And until you know what that is for yourself with your hands on the controls, it's not a true reflection. You can't just take my percentage and apply it to something you've never done you have to sort of make it your own. Now you can take from my strategy, you can say, I like that about it, but I don't like that about it. You can carve it up and make it your own. I actually recommend that. That's a great way to grow into a strategy that you're comfortable with, but don't just take my strategy and apply it. If you ask me any questions about this orb strategy, and I ask you immediately, how many back tests have you had? If you don't say at least 100, then there's no need to go any further. You shouldn't have any questions because you shouldn't be trading it. So with that being said, let's dive in. I was watching this candle, last 15 minute candle. You can see the high on that was 92.86 and the low was 92.66. So I had my stop at 92.56 and it was a stop limit to enter to the short side and I had it 12 cents wide on the stop limit so that I have that little gap so I don't get jumped. Now, let's press play, let's show you what happened. One thing that's interesting about this trade is we got that quick flash right there. And when I was actually in this trade, I was watching for it to break down, it did right there, and then it flashed back up and I, I thought, oh no, was I triggered in and there's a delay and now it's gonna rip back to the upside? But if you check the low right there, it's 92.59, so that flash down didn't actually trigger my order. So I was a, it was close, but it didn't get me. So then I'm watching, it's kind of hovering, trying to decide, you can see liquidity building, you can see down here, uh, volume. We're almost at a half million shares. And then I'm just waiting for this thing to either go up or down, doesn't matter to me. I've got another order placed at the top in another account, and you can see I almost switched to that account but then it flashes down, and then you're gonna see a big violent dump. Right about, come on, there it is. 
Okay, so that big push to the downside, that triggered me in. I got kind of a lazy-ish fill. It wasn't super crisp, but I'm in. I'm in short at 92.50, almost 92.53 a share. And now we're just gonna wait and see what happens. So as it pushes down, you can see I've got my stop loss registered there. So right here, I'm just thinking to myself, okay, we're up a little bit. Let's see if it can continue pushing. I'm gonna go ahead and edit my order. So I'm editing my stop loss right here, and a lot of you know this, and we talk about this every day. I edit that stop loss because I wanna have it prepared to send it to 2R, because right now, you can see it's right here at 25 cents. That's my stop loss. And I'm waiting for this position to go two and a half R, and when it does, I'm gonna move that stop loss to two R, which would be 50 cents in my favor. So I'm kinda of waiting to see what's gonna happen here. It pushes back up to $200. So it went from the 400s back to the low 200s, and even the upper 100s, and Yesterday, this is what really bothered me, and that's why I'm excited to show you, you all this because, I mean, look at that right there. I went to plus four on the P&L. Now I'm down. I'm red, minus $15. So that push to the upside could get some people to flatten the position and jump out. That could have been me not that long ago. So implementing the rule yesterday where I said it's either a full winner or a full loser, there's no in-between, I didn't even think about it. I just sat. I didn't even care. And now you can see what's going on. We're getting some nice push to the downside. We're now in the sixes, 650, 580. I'm still waiting. I need to see 750 on the P&L before I move that stop loss. It keeps hovering in the fives and the sixes but it's really flashy to the downside, which was encouraging to me. Every time it seemed to retreat back to the upside, it then seemed to turn over and kind of whip and flash down. So it felt like it had decent momentum. And you can see right there, we just crossed a million shares of volume on this first 15 minute candle. So I'm just waiting to see what's gonna happen. If it's gonna rip back to the upside and stop me out, that's fine because the trade plan says full loser or full winner. So still watching. Back to the mid twos. Now this can be extremely agonizing and some people might say, I'll take half my position off or a quarter of my position off. But for me, that's not part of my trade plan. My trade plan is all or none. So I'm just sitting tight. We're back in the mid fives, which is crazy. Close to 600. I'm just waiting to move the stop loss. I gotta see 750 flash. And it just keeps hovering. And I've had people ask questions about this stuff over here. See these pre-market lows? Those can act as support. And I've told people the reason why I don't use support and resistance in this trade is because there have been plenty of times where I've sat on the sidelines and watched a trade go without me, blow right through a support level as if it were never there, and just continue on its way. So I don't use support and resistance because it seems to be a 50-50 shot and I'm willing to take that risk. So now here we are again, back in the 200s. Now yesterday I might have just bailed on this altogether and said, I gotta get out. But it kept flashing down and kept flashing down. And then you're gonna see here in just a second, it's gonna push through those lows and it's gonna start to register, there it is. Do you see that? Over here we had the 700s. I need to get above 750 to move my stop. So we went ahead and we hit 750 up to 793 and even 800. And I went ahead and moved the stop loss right here. I actually moved it down 51 cents and now I'm gonna sit and see what happens. From here, as many of you know, if this candle continues to the downside and the next candle opens, the next 15 minute candle, and if it continues to the downside, I will move my stop loss to the high of the next candle. If it continues to move to the downside and a third 15 minute candle opens, I'm gonna move the stop loss to that high. As long as these highs don't come back up and whip me and stop me out, as long as things keep moving down and don't breach the high of the candle, I'm along for the ride. So now, here we go, it pushes back up. I think I started talking to the screens in here. I kept saying push, push, push. And it got kind of light, 800, 796, 850. It was just not, 
quite wanting to push through. Started to drift back to the upside. And ultimately, I think you know what's going to happen. Bang, a little flash up, and there we're out. So that was today's trade. It was extremely successful because I executed on every piece of my trade plan. And the beautiful thing was I didn't care when it moved up and down because now it's not subjective to me. It's not my decision to jump out whenever I feel stressed. Now it's literally walk away if you want once you've got this set because I'm waiting for the next 15 minute candle to come in. So I moved it to 2R. You can see I got a hair bit of slippage on the downside, which is fine, no complaints there. Added almost 2R to the stack for the week. So we are up about 5R total this week. Things are looking pretty good. There's a lot of interesting momentum happening and I wanna hear in the comment section below the answer to this question. Whichever stock you're trading, and you can mention the ticker, I wanna know if you're noticing smoother price action that seems to be not as erratic. More smooth but hard pushes. I'm noticing that in AMD that it is moving around a little bit, but it seems to be smoothly pushing down and smoothly pushing up. Yesterday was a great example to the upside. That was an interesting trade, and it pushed very smoothly. It almost didn't retrace at all. It was just like a slow push, but consistent. So if you're noticing that in your trades, drop a comment below. Let me know which ticker you're trading, and let me know if it's only been since December that you've noticed this, because that's what I've noticed. This has been an extremely green week, extremely green beginning to the month. People talk about the Santa Claus rally. I'm curious to see if that plays out this year. The markets are at highs, so who knows where we're going. But the nice thing about these day trades is every night we are in cash. So in the mornings, no matter what happens overnight, you can sleep well, get up in the morning, reassess your stocks and your strategy and then just follow your mechanics, and that's all there is to it. I hope you all traded well today. I hope it was a green day. I hope you take from this lecture or this episode that you've got to make the strategy your own. You have to own it. If you don't, I feel like you're playing someone else's game, and you won't have longevity there. So I want everyone to be long-term traders if you want to be a long-term trader, and that's going to take some independence on your part in finding your own strategy and knowing that just because you trade different than someone else doesn't make either of you wrong. There are a million different ways to make money in the markets. My examples are just my way. So make it your own. Stop back tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button. And I want to mention that this coming Sunday, November 13th at 11 a.m. Eastern, we're going to have another live stream class class number two of the $100 room, and the $100 room is just a series I'm creating of live streams where I just do coaching for free. You guys come in, check it out. This week, I'm going to actually do an example of placing a bracket order. I'm going to put a bracket order on in the replay mode, the on-demand mode up here, and I'm going to show you how I set up my trades with the brackets, and I'm going to show you how I move them once I'm in the trade. I'll just, I'm going to go ahead and replay one of my trades from earlier in the week and we're going to go through it and I'm going to show you how I would go bar by bar and I'm also going to show you how I move that stop loss initially from my initial stop to my 2R position once the P&L gets to $750. So join us for the live stream. I'm going to put out an announcement for it. Um, I'm going to have it open so you can join the room early but we're going to get after it again on Sunday at 11 a.m. because this past Sunday was awesome. And we had a lot of people show up, and it was a massive success. So we're going to do it again this Sunday. So tell someone who likes to trade, bring a friend, let's pack the room, and let's have a good time. Hope this uh, episode was helpful, and we'll see you next time.